Stomata are specialized pores found on the surface of leaves, young stems and other parts of plants. They play a major role in gaseous exchange between the plant and its surrounding atmosphere. They are also one of the major routes through which transpiration takes place in plants. Stomatal transpiration accounts for about 50 to 96 percent of transpiration. A stoma is surrounded by a pair of specialized parenchymatous bean-shaped epidermal cells called the guard cells. These cells control the opening and closing of a stoma. They open when the guard cells are turgid and close when they become flaccid. The wall of a guard cell is thicker towards the stomatal pore, while the wall away from the pore is thin and elastic. Stomatal opening and closing is governed by a chain of physiological events that occur within the guard cells leading to the increase or decrease of osmotic concentration of sugars and other solutes within the guard cells. Stomata usually remain open in daytime and close at night. Stomatal opening and closing rests on a number of factors such as pH, temperature, wind, leaf structure and area, etc. In this experiment, we'll be preparing temporary slides of stomata for their structural study using two simple methods, the leaf peel method and varnish method. For this experiment, we'll need the following. Fresh green leaves, tweezers, a staining solution such as safranin, light green, etc. Droppers, glass slides and cover slips, a compound light microscope. A quick drying glue such as super glue or a transparent nail polish. For the leaf peel method, we begin the experiment by taking a fresh green leaf. Hold the leaf in one hand with the lower surface facing up. Partially break the leaf by folding it like so and gently pull a segment of the leaf blade towards you. If this maneuver has been performed correctly, you'll observe a thin layer of epidermis detaching from the leaf surface as you continue to pull. Immediately detach a fragment of the epidermis using a tweezer and place it on a glass slide containing a drop of water or a staining dye. Cover the leaf peel with a cover slip and observe under the microscope. For the varnish method, Take a fresh leaf and apply a small amount of super glue or nail varnish on the lower surface of the leaf like so. Once the glue has sufficiently dried, gently pull it off the leaf using a tweezer. Place the peel on the slide in a drop of water and cover it with a cover slip making sure to avoid any air bubbles. Observe the slide under the microscope.